Right now, lawmakers in Washington are at odds over the next phase of the impeachment process. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has not yet formally transmitted the two articles of impeachment against the president to the Senate to start the trial process, apparently waiting to see if the Senate will call witnesses. One of President Trump's former top advisors says he's willing to come before Congress and testify. But just minutes ago, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he is ready to proceed with the impeachment trial with no agreement on witnesses. That is not the only issue Congress faces in Washington. The other, of course, the threat of revenge and a re of revenge attack from Iran. Now, this afternoon, the Senate Intelligence Committee was scheduled to get its first closed door look at the White House details on why it chose to attack and kill General Soleimani in Iraq. Now, Senator Angus King is a member of that committee, and he talked with our Don Kerrigan today. Don is here with us now. Hi, Lee and Cindy. Uh, Senator King said, who's uh, presumably reviewing those documents now, Senator King said that Americans should be very concerned about the potential for what Iran could do in retaliation for the attack on General Soleimani and then how the U.S. might respond to that. But Senator King told us in an interview from Washington that uh, while national security is always the topic that comes first, the impeachment trial of President Trump is still going to happen. And the senator said he wants the Senate to hear from some key witnesses who could shed light on what did or did not actually happen. Well, the big issue now, as far as that goes, is are we going to get additional evidence? Are we going to hear testimony, for example, from John Bolton, who has said he'll come forward if subpoenaed? In my view, it's critical to get that evidence. And it, I have no idea what John Bolton's going to say, or Mick Mulvaney, or, the, or Mr. Duffy, or others who I think should be testifying, who can give us for a firsthand account of what the president did and what his intentions were, and therefore resolve this issue pretty much one way or the other uh, through their testimony. Now, Senator King told us that he has ha had surprisingly few uh, calls or written comments from Maine constituents at his office there, but he said from talking with people in Maine and communicating one way or the other, he said the predominant impression he gets is that Mainers want to say, let's get to the bottom of this and get it over with. That clearly is going to take a while. Yes, yeah. it yeah. is. All right, Don, thank Thanks. you so much.